Hello. Hello everyone, welcome back. So I actually haven't got to sit this. I'm gonna take this off. Let me just take this off for a minute. The lightest bracelet I've ever owned. Anyway, since I've basically welcome back, not welcome back, not really welcome back. Um, I mean because I haven't done a sit-down video in ages, it just feels really weird. I've actually been looking forward to do a sit-down video in so long. Um, because my past few videos have just been like vlogs kind of mesh together, do you know what I mean? But since I've moved over here, I've got so many questions about Dubai in general and like how I've done it, like what I what was what I done basically. And then whenever I put up my I think it was like the second vlog about I think it was my birthday week vlog actually. No, I don't actually know what vlog it was, but it was the one where I mentioned I had the Louis Vuitton interview and so many people messaged me about it. I kind of just for, not, not forget about it, but I actually forgot that I mentioned it and the vlog and then loads of people were like, oh my God, like go and talk about it or like blah, blah, blah. Um, and tell me like how you applied for it, how you got your interview or whatever. So I was like, no problem. So I'm gonna do like a Q and A about like moving away on in general which I'm going to do after this, but I thought this one's a bit more fun, do you know what I mean, about leave it on? So I'm going to do this one first and then a QA and a on moving away, more or less moving to a different country. <laughs> anyway, I thought I would just let you in on my Louis Vuitton interview and answer some, not really questions, I haven't asked anyone questions or anything like on my stories or anything, I'm just going to kind of go through the whole interview process because it was a bit mad, I'm not going to lie. Anyway, starting off, obviously, I'm in the, this room is really echoey, echoish, echoish? Echoey, echo. So sorry, I was on about loud and annoying. So basically, obviously, I moved to Dubai and I needed a job. I came without a job, which loads of people say like, don't go to Dubai without a job, don't go anywhere without a job. But like, look at me now. You know what I mean? I so basically I moved over. I was applying for jobs. Loads, obviously, my degrees in fashion. So I was like, would love to do something in fashion or literally anything. I would literally do anything at this stage. But I was applying for jobs just online, and I think it was like Indeed. It might have been on LinkedIn. Actually, sure. Why did, I, why did I not rehearse this? Why did I not do my research before I started the video? Anyway, I just seen the job and it was just for a sales advisor in the Dubai Mall. So I was like, oh my god, I'm going to apply. Do you know what I mean? Like, I probably, do you see, if I'm being completely honest, I don't even remember applying for this job, but because I was applying for so many and I obviously just applied, sent me CV, and that's not really, that wasn't really a big application process. So I just sent me CV and kind of forgot about it. I was probably thinking I'm never going to get that or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Negative mindset. And I just applied, that was really it, submitted my CV. And then a wee woman called, let's call her Magella. She's not called Magella, but I'm just calling her Magella. She messaged, not messaged me, she emailed me and said, hey Sophie, blah, 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 senior CV, do you have a, num a, a UAE number that I can call you on? And I was like, obviously I'd only been in Dubai like a wet week, I didn't have a UAE number. So I was like, yes. Well, I didn't at this stage because I was like, oh, well, I don't actually know what I was waiting for to get like a different number because obviously I knew I was staying. Um, and then once I got that email, you best believe I got on that metro and went to Dubai Mall to get a SIM card. Um, and when I got the SIM card, I was still sitting in Dubai Mall, emailed her back and I was like, yes, of course, this is my number because I have my UK number on my CV. So I was like, yes, this is my number to call me anytime. And she rang me literally 10 minutes later. She was like, hi, this is Magella from Louis Vuitton, um, do you have a minute to speak? I was like, yes, of course. <laughs> um, and then she's basically just like, um, so are you living in Dubai or are you just visiting? I'm also not have made that clear on my CV, which that's stupid. But she's like, are you visiting Dubai? Are you living here? Um, what's your experience? Um, tell me a bit about yourself. Just kind of literally over the phone. I was actually sitting in a wee cafe and I was like, blah, 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 blah. And she was like, all right, okay. She's like, so we'd like to, and I'd like to invite you to the assessment center. It was called, it was an interview, it was an assessment center. And she was like, blah, 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 when can you come? I was like, anytime, Magella, I'm free for you, anytime, anytime, babe. So that was that really, I think it was like four days later. I think this might've been the Friday or the Saturday. And then I went on like the Tuesday and she's like, oh, it's just in Dubai Mall, sent me the location, blah, 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 blah. So and I was like, oh my God, I need to get an outfit. Not an outfit, an interview outfit. It was an outfit. So I was like, what do I wear? Like, what do I wear to Louis Vuitton interview? So I went into the Louis Vuitton store and all their employees were wearing white shirt. Was it a white shirt? Was it a white shirt? Yeah, it was white shirt and like a black skirt and black tights. And I was like, who in their right mind wears tights in Dubai? But obviously it's inside, like there's air conditioning. It's not as warm as what it is inside as what it is outside. So I was like, right, I need to get a black skirt. I need to get tights. I need to get shoes. Everyone was wearing like boots, heels. And I was like, Oh my god, so I had to get all that. So I got a wee black skirt and so that this literally has absolutely nothing to do with the interview. Shut up. And I got the outfit, that was fine. Obviously I'd done a bit of research, blah blah blah. And I went on day, what is it, glass door? And they have like all kind of people review. If you don't know what glass door is, it's like interview tips and like, oh I went to an interview here, this is what I done, blah 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 blah. And what I read was basically what I done. So basically went there on the Tuesday and I just assumed, I don't know why, because 
my brain's not turned on a lot of the time. I just assumed it would be like me and like maybe three other people. But I went there. We all met outside, like it was like the back entrance, so it wasn't actually the Louis Vuitton store, it was like their their HR part. I got there and there was about 14 people, and I was probably 15. And oh my god, these people looked so professional. They actually looked amazing. There was one girl and she was wearing like a black Karl Lagerfeld suit and she just looked so cool. Like I would give the job to her. Like four boys or like men, I think, and they were all wearing suits, and then like other ones were just wearing like shirts and kind of like, but she stood out to me. I was like, you are the coolest woman I've ever seen. Well went on and and we sat down, blah, 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 wrote our names. And it was kind of like a big, not like a big conference room, but it was like a big table. And there was like six other workers from all Louis Vuitton, some were from Mall of Emirates, some were from Dubai Mall. And it was, Magella was there. Um, and then there was literally five other people. Some were like the managers, supervisors, team leaders, all kind of mixed together, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we were all sat around the table and then it was divided, the interview was divided into three sections. Wow. Well, the first part we went down and we watched like two short videos on like Louis Vuitton, like the history. It was actually quite interesting. Um, so we watched that and then basically the first, this wasn't part of the interview process, but it was just kind of an icebreaker, kind of get everyone talking. Basically, you had an it was kind of called introduce your partner, introduce your neighbor. And I was sitting beside, I don't even remember his name, I think it was like Timothy or something. It was from Czechoslovakia. So we had a like, talk. Um, for like five minutes I had to tell him about me, he had to tell me about him and then I had to stand up and introduce him to the rest of the people. Take in mind there was about 25 people in the room. Um, so I, that's, that wasn't part of the interview but that's just what you done so everyone kind of knew each other and blah blah blah, hello my name, blah 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 blah. So after that then they said, they explained that it would be divided into three parts, that's six, it would be divided into three parts. The first part, well, well it was different for everyone. They were kind of just like, you know, you'll do this part first and then blah, blah, blah. So for me personally, I done the write a letter to a client first and then I done the interview, the short like interview, and then I done the role play. So the write a, a, so the write a letter to a client part was basically, it gave you like a kind of, what do you call it? Like a client profile kind of, what do you call it? It's like, I like a client profile, I think. Um, and basically is a respected customer who like, spends loads of money in the shop. Uh, it's not a real person, I think it's just kind of, they made it up obviously. Um, and he stopped playing with my hair. So they were like, right, his name is Paul, he's a very customer, he comes maybe th three or four times a year and spends a lot of money in that, that one session. Um, spends a lot of money and he loves traveling, he loves going out for dinner, blah, blah, blah. But we haven't heard from him in a while, so write him a letter and see what the crack is, see if he's coming back, blah, blah. I think it's kind of just to see how you, or you obviously have to do that whenever you work there, like obviously if you respect the clients, they like, oh, you know, I have some things in store that I think you would like, I've seen it and thought of you. Do you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, you just have to write that, ask him how he's doing. We miss you, we haven't seen you in a while, that kind of way. Well, you don't have to write that, this is what I wrote. Um, I've seen some new products and I thought of you straight away. I think you would love this, I think your wife would love this. How's your traveling going? Um, I know you're a busy man, let me know if you need anything, give me your name, your number, blah, 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 blah. Literally give you a piece of paper and you can write blah, 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 that's very boring. And then the second one that I done was like the short interview. So it was basically just, I went done with the, I think it was a hitch, I don't even, I'm making that up on the spot. I can't even remember what it was, but it was a manager anyway. And it was very nice, it was Italian and it was around the time that Italy won the Euros. And I thought that I was from like England and he's like, oh, like kind of joking with me about, oh, this is absolutely nothing to do with interviews. So, Anyway, so we were kind of bonding over the fact that Italy won the Euros, and that was good. So the crack was—it wasn't—it wasn't scary. It was not a scary interview. Everyone was so nice. Went down and they was like, "Tell me about about you have a CV in front of him." He said, "Tell me about about yourself, your experience, salary expectations, why I'd be a good fit for the role, why you hired me over everyone else outside." And I was like, oh, "I'm such a bitch. I'm hardly going to do this to my good friends." Uh, that was really. Uh, they were so nice. I'm trying to think of anything else that they asked. It was literally just basic interview questions, strengths and weaknesses. Oh my God, that got me bad. That got me bad, but that's always a tricky question, isn't it? You're like, well, where do I start with the weaknesses? But I know. That was it, literally five minutes. And after that, I went back inside and I was kind of just waiting about. After that, then it was the role play. Now, I don't mean to freak anybody out, but when I went into this room, I thought it was just going to be like the person I'm doing the role play with and then someone taking notes. You best believe that the six workers from the two Louis Vuitton stores were in this room. Someone was on Zoom. There was someone, obviously someone that couldn't make it to the interview. Someone was on Zoom also watching the role play. <laughs> oh my God, like I'm a sociable person. Like I could literally talk to that brick wall, do you know what I mean? But I felt awkward, but I couldn't, I couldn't let them know that I felt awkward, do you know what I mean? So then I was like, the, the, whenever, speak. Whenever I was getting called on to do the role play, it was the boy that done my interview. So he was like, be confident, they was giving like a wee pep talk before I was like, 
So that was fine. Like I left, I did feel fine whenever I went down, but whenever it was like going on, I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? Basically I just went down and there was one worker, one girl, I think she was called Mary. And she was like, right, so I'm gonna do the role play. They explain me what's gonna happen before you actually do it. So they say, right, I'm gonna be this. You can pick anything. You don't need to know specific items. Like they don't care if you know it. They're just kind of seeing how you sell and like talk to the customer. So, Blah, 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 it's fine, so I went down. And it was something like, oh, we've just, la like, I've just landed in Dubai. My husband, our suitcases got lost. My husband needs some clothes. And I was like, okay. And they had, using the maddest clothes, right? They had a long sleeve jumper in 40 degree heat in the middle of Dubai. I just had to work with what I got, do you know what I mean? So I just poke up the jumper and I was like, this material, you know, it's one of our best sellers. I knew Anne, I think, you know, my husband really like it maybe. Is it something that he would like? Then she's like, oh, maybe, maybe, yeah, I think he would like that. Maybe something else, is there anything? You know, we need, um, you know, bottoms, shoes, top. I was like, amazing, we have absolutely everything. Do you want to check a seat, blah, blah, blah? Chatting, pure. Shit. I was watching a girl's video before I went and she was like the one thing that they not one thing that they care about but it's all about upsell and not upsell like oh do you like this cap why don't we check the sunglasses to match like you would look so cool with that hat and sunglasses and I know your husband would absolutely love it as well we had never met the husband I knew that that would look amazing on your husband I can tell I can tell that's just the way I had to go on and I was crunching for myself inside I was like you have to do what you have to do so at the end then that was basically uh, like it was it did get really awkward on a stage because like what, how are you supposed to sell someone a long sleeve woolly jumper in the middle of Dubai in literally the middle of July? So you just have to, you just have, literally just have to wing it, you have to wing it and that's exactly what it on. So anyway, think of mind this whole room of six workers and someone on Zoom and the person doing the role play was all watching. You just have to chat, pure and other shit. So after that then, I went back into the room and they were like, oh thank you so much for coming blah 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 and then that was literally it. But the whole process literally took about two weeks. By the time Magella rang me, um, by the time I'd done the interview and heard back, it was maybe, 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 it was maybe two weeks. It was maybe two weeks. My overall experience was actually really good. Um, the people were so nice, they were so helpful. They were like, let me know if you need anything, like be confident, be yourself. We just need to know how you feel with the customers, how you can talk to them, blah, blah, blah. And that's really it. But I, that was literally, I, that was just the interview process. Like, I was literally one of the youngest people in the interview, so I actually felt a bit privileged. I was like, oh my God, like, how am I here with all these people? So one of the girls worked in Valentino, one of them worked in Gucci, I think. Another one worked in Balenciaga, one of their like, smaller stores in the mall. And obviously, like if you have luxury experience, you're more than likely gonna get under another luxury role. So there's no like hidden secrets, no magical application process. I wish I could remember applying, I honestly do. I hope he's got some tips on what the interview process will be like. If you are going for an interview at Louis Vuitton, let me know down below. And look out for my next Q&A, which is about moving to Dubai. And I, that's basically it. Also, just want to add some do's and don'ts. Do, I would say, just be yourself, be confident. If you have any previous customer service experience, use examples from that. Do, obviously, like, talk about whatever they're asking you about. Be friendly, be approachable, smile the whole time, obviously. At least pretend that you want to be there. I'm joking. I would definitely go into one of the Louis Vuitton stores as well before going to your interview because that really helped me get like a vibe of what the people wore, obviously, their products, where their sit placement of products is. Not that that's really important for like a customer service role or like a sales advisor role. Don't, one don't that I would definitely recommend doing or don't do what? Obviously, if you're going for an interview at Louis Vuitton or any like luxury fashion brand, don't wear Chanel de Louis Vuitton interview. Don't wear Gucci de Louis Vuitton interview. Same going as if you have an interview at Balenciaga. Don't wear Louis Vuitton. Don't wear, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Because there was one girl at my interview and she had Chanel earrings. She had a Gucci uh, handbag. I think she had Gucci shoes as well. And I was like, do you want this job or? <laughs> Like, I don't know. That's all really I can think of. I wish I could give more tips. Be nice to everyone, shake everyone's hand. Obviously COVID, I don't really know if that's the best thing to do. When I went on to me um, role play, I was like gonna pretend to shake her hand, obviously, cause like, I don't really know. And I was like, I was gonna just be like, hello. And she like reached out, but the time she reached out, I pulled my hand back and I was like, oh my God, so awkward. So obviously you can just read the room and know whether to shake a hand or not, but don't do it, I don't. That was really awkward. Don't wear the competitor's products. Okay. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!